Hey, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I did a while back a four foot by four foot painting and I was going for a spiral with a swipe through it and it came out a little bit too green and my lacing got a little bit stretched out. So I had some recommendations, maybe stretch it before you swipe. So I'm gonna be trying it again. It's gonna be a big canvas, four foot by four foot. I'm gonna see if I stretch it out um, before I swipe how that reacts to it. Um, it is for a commission. This will be my second time at it. I do have three four foot by four foot canvases. I'm hoping I don't have to use my last one, but you never know with this. So fingers crossed for me, let's paint. Hi everyone, it's Molly. You are far away from me on this one. <laughs> this is a four foot by four foot canvas. I have painted off the sides and I am going to be doing my largest swipe yet. Now I did one, the colors just weren't correct because this is for a commission. It came out very green. Um, so I changed up the colors a little bit. They really wanted more kind of ocean blues with a pop of orange and yellow in there. So that's what I'm doing. I am gonna be pouring, I have three two liter containers here of paint. I mixed up, I spent all day mixing. Um, it is mixed with Floetrol and gloss medium varnish. Um, and I'll put everything down below. Um, and then I'm going to pour some, almost like reverse ring pour. So instead of pouring just the ring like this, I'm gonna come outward and then pour inward toward the center. So I'm gonna do three of those, stretch them out a little bit, swipe with the Australian Floetrol mixture, and then stretch it out the rest of the way. And hopefully I'm gonna get just some interesting lines and keep your fingers crossed for me. So my husband's gonna come out and help me tilt because this one is very large. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I think I'll start with this one right here. And this is what I mean by kind of reverse ring pour. So I'm gonna start this way. And then here come all my colors. Whoops, swiped through it with, with the container. And then here is the light blue for the contrast. Ooh, I really like that one. Oh, I like these colors so much better already. If I remember, I'll show you the other one. Now I just got these, these are just like pitchers, um, containers, but the paint, because it's so thick, pour, I don't even know if you can see this, pouring out of that edge right there is very hard. So the center doesn't always get like perfect, but you can just take your finger just touch it like that in the center. But I'm gonna swipe through most of this, so it should be okay. All right, for my next one, I think I'm gonna come around on this side and pour, I paint all over my floor. I've been doing a ton of big pieces. This container is so heavy. Now, if I had just poured straight in the middle, I might reverse this one. If I had just poured straight from the middle, it would be very large puddles and all the colors, all of these colors would be lost. So that's why I really tried to reverse ring pour them and stretch them out. Not to say that you can't, but if you're working on large canvases like that and you're doing a ring pour, it's better to kind of reverse it and start from your edges and work your way inward. I love this color combination so much better than the other one that I did. The other one's pretty, it's just, it's mostly green, honestly. And that is not what we had wanted for this. So my last one I'm gonna do right here Oh, there's a lot of orange. I'm gonna to try to mitigate that right here. See, I'm just swirling that on in, getting some of those other colors around it instead. There we go. I'm gonna swirl the, I did the blue in the center 
on the other two. So I'm going to swirl the blue on around and then make my way back into the center on this one. So it does not have to be perfect, but that's just kind of my thought process behind it. I feel like maybe I should have had one over here, but I don't. So I'll stretch to this corner first to get a lot of the paint over here. So the point of doing this as a ring pour is to add some interest. So when I swipe, I'm gonna swipe through these sections first, and then I'll decide which ones I kind of want to dissect. Like that ring looks a little bit different, but these two look really cool. So I may try to leave some of this intact. Um, all right, so let me get my swipe set up. Man, I've had a week. Whew. All the amounts of, I guess I'll call them learning experiences that I had. This was a... Uh, and they were all big, big canvases because I'm getting ready for a show. And let me tell you, it's just things were not working in my favor. But I went back to the drawing board. I thought about each of them and what went wrong. And then I tried again. And that's, I feel like, all you can do. So I just bought this at the dollar store. I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is a perfect swiping tool. And I think it's perfect size to kind of swipe down through the middle, but I'm going to get my husband and I'm going to tilt this a little bit first. So if I had, can you guys hear me sticking to my plastic on the floor? If I, what I did on the last one, I swiped like this right now. And as I tilted to the edges, it was very, very difficult to, um, to move the paint, uh, to, Sorry, it was very, very difficult to stretch it and hold this, the lacing. So if I figure if I stretch it a little bit later in the, or swipe a little bit later in the process, then the lacing will kind of keep intact and be more predominant. I think I am gonna pour a little bit of blue right here. You ready, babe? Yeah. Okay, you're on camera. a little bit faster. Okay, stop. Bring it back. Tilt to this corner. Stop. Drop your side. Okay, stop. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, stop. That side, to drop your side, and then no, pick it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now back towards, go to that corner. Okay, now stop. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to layer this on, get a good layer. Try to get a good layer. Okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna swipe on through. So there was one swipe. And that, this was okay. I think my next swipe, I'm gonna go with my longer one. This one's a little bit muddy, so I think I'll come through this one. Not muddy, but. Okay, that was really pretty. I 
I like this one, so I don't want to swipe straight through the center of it. I do need one that's over on that side over there. What do you think? Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you thought I was talking to the camera, didn't you? Uh, our Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Our cat came to pay us a visit out here. Okay, last swipe. Jacob. Now I'm gonna reassess and see if I want any more swipes in any other areas. Cause I actually really like the interest and the design. I feel like maybe just one swipe. In this corner, even though it'll go off. gonna stretch out really pretty I think and then I feel like one more I think along this edge Just don't know. We won't know until we stretch it out, I guess, huh? My husband deserves a medal for putting up with me and being so supportive and coming out to help me. We ended up talking to each other and basically we ended up saying like left hand up, right hand down, and that's how we tried to get in sync to really stretch this out together. It's very difficult to do. I had some people asking and commenting on the last one we did as well. How did you, you know, move the canvas together like that? And it really takes a lot of communication. It's really important the way you stretch it out because that will dictate how your lacing stretches out and where the focal point of your painting will be. At this point, I knew that this probably wasn't going to be it. This wasn't going to be the one, um, just from the way that it ended up stretching out. I, I liked it, but still, doing the lacing, um, stretching it, and then swiping, I think I stretched maybe a little too much because I felt like the lacing was still just a little bit too small this time. So my first one, lacing was too big. This time, I feel like maybe the lacing was a little bit small. And I'm still not completely 100% satisfied with the colors. So I think I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board yet again one more time, but I'll show you what this one looks like dry. This is like way too big for me to even get all the way in. So I wanted to show you this way first. It is still not quite what I envisioned. There is less green, there is more blue, but I think it's, it was this, and just leaving that without swiping through it, I think is what's throwing me off. And I think the lacing is a little bit too small this time. So maybe I'm gonna be able to do Goldilocks and go, let me get you over here, and go in between the two and spread just a little bit. But I fiddled a lot with this one. You know, once I knew that it wasn't it, I was just trying different things out. I do like that corner. 
but that was the corner that this corner and this stripe that was the piece that the other that the client didn't care for so this will be my third try coming up at trying to create this four foot by four foot um, kind of ring pour swipe and hopefully that will be it but you know what it does not always work out I'm learning a lot each time I'm probably going to use this canvas as a um, canvas to kind of, you know, play with and see what's going on and try something different, but it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's just, again, not what they wanted. So back to the drawing board one more time and we'll see how that one goes. I like to show you my, my failure. My, I won't call it a failure, but I like to show you the things that don't work out and the things that are successes because nobody's perfect and commissions are hard. So if you're going through this, no, you are not alone. I've been doing this for years and this still happens to me too. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Yep. Be painting. Bye.